of snow plows about uh, two hours into my trip. It's calming down. I drew a lion tag in Montana this year, so I'm headed that way. Uh, it's gonna be a five day hunt. And uh, right now I have about four more hours till I get to the lodge that I'm staying at. So I'm going with an outfitter and uh, they're gonna set me up with a guide who has some dogs. I'm really looking forward to the process and just seeing how it goes down. It's about eight o'clock. I just had a bomb dinner and uh, I found out that we're gonna be leaving about 1.30 tomorrow. So I'm gonna hit the hay as soon as I can. <laughs> So the guide Adam and I have been driving around on a whole bunch of different roads this morning uh, looking at the snow trying to find some fresh tracks. Um, we found one set of older cat tracks like early this morning but um, they're probably like a couple days old and they had some snow in them and also like last night it was a freaking blizzard out here so uh, I guess it's pretty normal that the cats aren't moving around as much. So we're just gonna keep on trucking and see what we can find. Adam just took the sled up this drainage right here, found some tracks, so we're gonna go check them out. Not in years. It's easy. Kill switch. That's all I gotta do. Brakes over there. Thumb throttle, right? Alright. Oh, it's in a tree. It's in a tree? Log down here. Can you see him? Yeah, they're right there. I can see the dogs, I can't see the cat. The dogs have a cat tree to cross the river, and we're looking for a safe place to cross it without getting soaked. It's pretty intense. Saw my first cat in a tree, thanks to Adam, and uh, it was only couple hundred yards off the main road but harsh conditions getting through the snow still super cool to see that cat um he was telling me it was a pretty young female and uh i decided that it's not really what i wanted to shoot I'm trying to find at least a male so it's day one Let's see what happens maybe we'll see something else tonight or Get on something tomorrow. We're hitting the next road. Um, we stopped down at the bottom. The snow up there's really thick. So I'm just hanging out. Adam took the snowmobile and he went up. He's checking to see if there's any tracks. Uh, his day one I think is going pretty good. Um, it's really cool to see a cougar in the tree. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. And that's one of the main reasons I wanted to come on this trip see these awesome dogs work and uh, it's uh, turning out to be quite an adventure. Stay tuned, I'm about to head out for the day. Hopefully we can get on a big cat. We've been driving some roads, looking for tracks. We've been out here about an hour now. Uh, haven't seen anything new. Um, the snow's getting pretty deep, so we parked and Adam got on the snowmobile and he's gonna run up this road and see if he can find any fresh tracks. So there wasn't anything up that one. Um, we're moving on to the next spot. It's a few miles down the highway and then hit this next drainage and hopefully we can find some tracks there. It's all waiting game. We're heading up the second drainage of the day and we just ran out of road that the truck can go up because the snow is so deep. So Adam is going to take 
the sled up there again and see if you can find some tracks up that way. We haven't got in any fresh tracks so far. We're at the third spot and uh, too much snow on the road again. Hey, you hear your dad up there? I just saw Adam coming back down the hill. He was out again for about uh, 30 minutes checking uh, some road that we couldn't get to with the truck. And I took a little nap. We are at our sixth or seventh spot today. It's been pretty slow as far as tracks. Adam is way faster on the snow machine. If we run out of room to drive the truck and the, and the snow's too deep, he'll just get on there and then run up really quick because he knows exactly what to look for. If he finds something, he can come back down here and get me. I might have got spoiled yesterday uh, seeing that female up in a tree. So. Just gotta wait and see what happens, I guess. You can definitely see, see the difference. Like, here's mom. Mom goes this way, and that's a kitten. And it's got bitty bitty, you know? That's cool. That's a good one. Hey, you can see uh, kind of hard now we walked over, but they walked on top of the last truck that drove down this road. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's day three. We just got to the first spot and it's a road that goes up to some pretty high elevation with some thick snow. So Adam took the snow machine to go look for fresh tracks. I'm going to take the truck and meet him where the outlet comes down to the main road. And hopefully he'll come down in a little while with some good news. It's definitely hot. The question is, is how old is a bit of snow in the track? Oh, well, we've got a plan. Go. Sweet. Good. So basically, we're just trying to go until we find like the most recent track that we can find. So this is the third or fourth spot we hit today. Uh, we got in on this road a little ways, and uh, Adam found a track right in the middle of the road, and we've been kind of going along and finding the most recent spot that the cats went across. Um, it looks like it's probably gonna be fresh enough to track and he says it's a good male. So we're just uh, getting everything ready. He's getting the dogs ready. I'm getting my gear set up and waiting for the sun to come up. And then uh, we should be going after and see if we, seeing if we can get this cat in a tree. I'm getting really excited. I'm actually a little shaky already because Got a little anticipation, so hopefully we can see that cat pretty soon. See if there's any more up there, right? Oh, they're excited. Oh, yeah. 
across the creek. That's why they're quiet. She's lining out. So she's probably like figured it out. She's been in the front. That's Max. That's Maya. That was cute. Yeah, they're kind of getting this ridge on her. Now there, there's like a draw right here now that they're in. So they like wrapped around, that was that ridge. They wrapped around it side hill and side hill. Now they're kind of like in this little draw. Hmm. But they've got to be getting it fresher if I can hear that. If I can hear that one dog of mine up there barking, which he don't. When he barks, it's fresh. Yeah. They've got it within a few hours. I'm up on this ridge climbing to where the dogs are at. They have a lion treed. You can hear them in the background, hopefully. Lost we'll the snowshoes down at the sled. So. Needless to say, this is a hell of a hike. And I got probably another 300 yards or so with some vertical until I get there. Whew, I'm out of breath. I'm getting excited though. Taking another mini break. Ooh, what a hike. Probably shouldn't have wore the base layers today. It is hot going up this got my makeshift trekking pole because I didn't feel like taking those ones off the back of my pack even though I probably should have my guide Adam is a billy goat he's going man he uh, got right up after here after these dogs and I'm basically just following his tracks until I get up to the tree where the lion's at. Sounds like it's only a couple hundred more yards. Well, she's up there somewhere. Really hard to see it see her but uh adam tells me this is definitely a female but she's a lot bigger than the last one so i gotta decide if i want to try to harvest her or wait it out she's mature doesn't have any kittens with her and so i decided that uh i'm gonna try to get this one we're just waiting for adam to tie up the dogs and hopefully she presents a shot for me to set up but we got set up on it and Adam helped me kill my first mountain lion. Couldn't have done it without him. Good job dude. This was an awesome trip. Super thankful to uh, Cody for setting me up with Adam here. Taking me out running roads and I uh, feel really grateful for this cat. There's the truck. I appreciate you guys all coming along for my adventure. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, you probably should go subscribe so you can get updates for all the new videos we're going to be coming out with in 2020. And also, make sure you follow us on Instagram.